Hi right, guys, welcome to another video. Okay, today we're going to be doing a review of the um, Hocker Bondi 7 trainers, the trainers I run in day to day. These are them. You can get them in all different colours. This is what I've gone for. What have you just got? What have you been picking? Eh? Don't spill them. Don't spill them. Just been picking them from the trees. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right, let's get into it. I'll get these on. Let's get running. Right, as promised, here's the new ones. Hockers. Oh, look at them beauties. Let's get running in them. Quick tip for you when you're tying your shoes. A lot of people struggle from tying them too tight, especially over the bridge of your foot. So what I use, there's lots of different names for it. Uh, the stitch knot, the double loop, the I know it is the innovate the innovate knot. Okay, I think that's just because the the innovate shoes have you know I don't know if they were the first, but certainly for me they were the first people to have the double the double hole that you could loop through and do this particular uh, this particular thing with. So I'll show you now. But what it allows is basically for the bridge of your foot to be as loose as you need it to be, but it clamps together around your ankle. So if you can see here on any shoe, you'll have two holes. What you want to do is make the loop so that your tail end is hanging on the inside of your of your shoe, and simply that tail end then loops through your other your other loop on this side, vice versa with this one. Okay, that one goes through there. I put the camera down. So you tie your bridge as tight as you need to. You pull over. That's not super tight. That's just nice. And you get your two laggy bits, and as you pull. That's just that's just tightening all around here, but not there. So it's going to keep you keep your shoe nice and tight, nice and tight for running, but not too tight that you're going to be cutting your circulation off over the bridge of your foot. Great little tip. If you're not doing it already, make sure you are. All right, let's get to it. Why are these hawkers so comfy? Well, it's probably important to start back. What I wore previous to these, I'd be anything from Nike, Adidas, you know, Saucony at times. All great shoes, great makes. But my problem uh, came around with shin splints, or the offset of them starting, you know. And obviously, them shoes just didn't have enough support, I'd say, for me as a runner. Now, a lot of that's to do with at the time being overweight and getting back into the running hammering the miles you know there's a lot of weight transfer we're going through them shins and the footwear I had on just weren't capable of taking it now is that the only reason to get hawkers? no they do prevent injury I find as well I mean the cushion in them if you just have a look at that Just bouncing down. You know, you're not going to get that with many other shoes. I think Brooks at the minute, they're doing something similar in terms of uh, the range they have and the way Nikes are going there quite thick as well. But these were definitely, in my opinion, one of the first sort of brands to take it on, you know. So what main advantages have I found since I've been running with them? Well, certainly after runs, especially longer runs, I, I'm not, my muscles aren't aching. It's not like they've been absolutely hammered. I feel like they give a good, a good release, you know, and yeah, of course you still have to stretch. You're never not gonna have to do that. That's part and parcel of training. But they certainly feel, you know, a lot more or less labored, if you will. Um, I think that's important. <laughs> A dog barking. Um, come on, Bell, this way. You know, you want to be comfortable running. You want to finish your run, you don't want to be in pain. And these definitely help with that. How versatile are they? Very. They're a road shirt at the end of the day, but they've got great grip. I'll show you now. So we've just come off the road, we're on some trails and tracks over in Worstone, Hurstwood and yeah okay they're a road shoe 
got great grip though fantastic grip and and not just that sometimes you're guilty when you go off road in road shoes or anything like that you feel every nook and cranny every bump under your foot but with that extra cushion in these you don't feel that so providing it's dry and it's not absolutely soaking wet where you're going to be slipping take them anywhere yeah i agree it's quite light is this it's just a stony path so let's take them somewhere else let's see how they do All right, we'll just let Belle have a swim before we set back off. But the next challenge from is going to be in this, in this forest. Okay, as you can agree, it's not road, far from road, and in the wet, it can be very slippy. Now we've gone a few days without having rain, to be fair, so it should be pretty dry. Saying that, under the tree coverage, could still be damp patches. Let's have a look. All right, we're in the middle of the forest, so I'm not for one minute going to pretend to know everything about trainers. I don't. I don't know anything about them. But what I can give you is an honest review on how they feel, how durable they are, and how they match up to what I've had in the past. Durable, durability. I've had these trainers for now, time. Still great. I did, I did a six-day challenge that's that's on the, on my channel a bit, bit before these videos and in them six well I got injured with shin splints but in them in them 45 of the 60 days I covered 210 mile still running them now still as comfy as ever still doing what they need to do you can't complain with that can you all right it's a bit off the beaten track but if we look down here you know you can see it's all not scree because scree's rock but it's all loose dirt i'm gonna put the camera down i'm gonna fly down it come back up let you guys see how they how they how they look do i slip do i manage to keep my balance how they perform let's have a look So apart from Bell getting in my way, <laughs> they were all right, they were great, I didn't slip, felt comfortable, felt like I had plenty of grip. Just running up the side of it now. Feel good, can't complain. A bit steeper there. Let's find some more challenges. You'll still get people on them. <laughs> no. So for any that have watched the previous videos on this uh, this playlist, the Manchester Half Marathon Training, today is my easy run. Hence why I'm doing a review of the shoes, because I don't need to go far, three, four mile. And that gives me time to sort of relax a bit and do a bit more filming on on the shoes and what i think we've just pulled up to hurstwood res now look at that beautiful really have brought you to hurstwood on a beautiful day reservoir's filling back up nicely still a way to go but it's filling let's try running on some rocks so yeah with the reservoir being as low as it is it's kind of the perfect opportunity to to test these shoes out on some rocky surfaces and see see how we put up with it so we head straight down why not got belt i 
fine. Didn't feel anything through the feet. All right, a bit steep, as you can see. But you're gonna get that. That's with any shoe. Main thing is, comfortable. Big tick in my box, comfortable. Didn't feel like my feet were sliding everywhere. Didn't feel like I were out of control at any point. Felt really good. Let's have a run along this beach and see what we get up to. All right, fine, running along there. We just keep getting the same results, comfortable. You know, ease, confidence, all these kind of words that just relate to these shoes. And that's why I wear them. I think there's only one real big test to go on them. For, for me anyway, for the type of running I do. And that's the odd time I like to do some sort of like hill session, hill sprints kind of thing. And just at the other side of this reservoir here is, is, is a two kind of layer grass hill. And if I can get up and down in them in this, in this lovely weather, you know, we're laughing, we're laughing. I appreciate when it's wet, I'm probably gonna struggle. That's when you're gonna need some, you know, trail or fell shoes or something like that. But it's about adaptability, isn't it? And you know, on a nice day like today, you can wear your nice comfortable road shoes and do it. Win-win. So we'll just head along here now. We're gonna climb back up this, all right? And, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll head over and, and get up and down them grass hills and see how we go. Let's do it. Alright guys, here's a little look at what I'm on about. So I'm side on at the minute so you can get a perspective of what we've got, what we're faced with. There's actually three stages. I seem to only remember it as two, but there's three. We're going to get all three done. I feel like it's a good good bit of training. It's going to be hard work, but, but you know, it'll test the shoes as well, so that's good. So I'll just flip the camera around. So as you can see, this is the start of here. We've got level one, then we've got level two, and we've got level three. And as you can see, it's the bank into the other side of the rest, so it's, it's quite steep, it really is steep. I'm going to film in three stages. I'm going to get me running down it with, with me. Now you can come with me, I'll take the camera. I'll probably then place the camera at the bottom, hopefully at an angle so you can see me going up. And I'll turn it round and fly down and, and see if I can stay on my feet. Let's have a go. All right, we're at the top. Here's the fence. I don't know if from here it looks any steeper than it did at the side. Definitely does to me. But we're here now, let's do it. You ready, Bill? Right, slow and steady first time. That's level one, not so bad. It is quite steep, but pretty good. Grip felt good. Let's have two. And three. Okay. It's just realized that I've got to go back up there now. And by God, does it look steep from here. <laughs> Ooh, that's where we started from that hut. Right, I'll see if I can position the camera so you can see it, and then we'll get going. Yo, man, let's go. Oh man, Whew. I'll tell you something, if you're local to here, if you're passing by here or anything, get that done, God that's hard, that's going to have to be a challenge for me that now, I need to complete that in one, I got to the second, uh, the sec top of the second stage, probably about a foot from where it flattens off for a second, I had to throw a little walk in. I tried going again, but it's just so steep. Ah. 
I'm not disappointing myself because it was a good effort, but that's definitely going to be a challenge for me. I need to get to the top of there without stopping. Back to the hawkers. How did they do? Not a problem. I know it feels like I haven't found a fault with them, but for me, I can't find a fault with them because they work perfectly. If it's absolutely throw it down, you know, or if you're on the top of the moors, the fells where it's peat bogs and all that sort of stuff, hey, they're not the right shoe. Far from. But every day running, wherever you find yourself, the bang on. The bang on. I'd recommend them. Ho Hocker Bondi 7. Brilliant, brilliant shoe. Right. Got to get back now. I don't know that way. But I do know back up there. Whew, let's do it. Oh, my legs are like jelly after that. Really took it out of them. Thought it was an easy run. Turned into a hard little effort. I will get back home now. Right, let's summarise. Hawkers, Bondi 7. Do I recommend them? Absolutely. Do you have little niggles, pains, or just want to be more comfortable when you're running? Do you want to get back from your runs and not be in aches and pains due to the footwear? Best shoes around for me. Your everyday runner like me, who don't know where they're going, don't know what pass they're hitting, they do most, they do most things, they're an all round shoe. I got mine from the sports shoes, sportshoes.com, they always have good deals on. So yeah, if you, if you don't know where to go, go there. Okay guys, I'm only not far from home now. My legs are still like jelly. From that hill rep, God, flying me out. God, it was steep. So I'll leave it there. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Really helps the channel, helps me. I appreciate it for watching guys. See you in the next one.